The anti-Azerbaijani sentiment in Armenia has been mainly rooted in the unresolved territorial conflict over Nagorno-Karabakh. According to a 2012 opinion poll, 63% of Armenians perceive Azerbaijan as the biggest enemy of Armenia, while 94% of Azerbaijanis consider Armenia to be the biggest enemy of Azerbaijan. Topic: <laughs> Early period. In the early 20th century the Transcaucasian Armenians began to equate the Azerbaijani people with the perpetrators of anti-Armenian policies such as the Armenian Genocide in the Ottoman Empire, soon afterwards a wave of anti-Azerbaijani massacres in both Azerbaijan and Armenia started in 1918 and continued until 1920. First in March 1918, a massacre of the Azerbaijanis in Baku took place. An estimated of 3,000 to 10,000 Azerbaijanis were killed by nationalist Dashnik Armenians, orchestrated by the Bolshevist Stepan Shahumyan. The massacre was later called the March Days. <laughs> During the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict After the Nagorno-Karabakh War anti-Azerbaijani sentiment grew in Armenia, leading to harassment of Azerbaijanis there. In the beginning of 1988 the first refugee waves from Armenia reached Baku. In 1988, Azerbaijanis and Kurds around people were expelled from the Armenian SSR. Following the Karabakh movement, initial violence erupted in the form of the murder of both Armenians and Azerbaijanis and border skirmishes. On June 7, 1988, Azerbaijanis were evicted from the town of Masis near the Armenian Turkish border, and on June 20, five Azerbaijani villages were cleansed in the Ararat province. Henrik Pagosian was ultimately forced to retire, blamed for letting nationalism develop freely. Although purges of the Armenian and Azerbaijani party structures were made against those who had fanned or not sought to prevent ethnic strife, as a whole, the measures taken are believed to be meagre. The year 1993 was marked by the highest wave of the Azerbaijani internally displaced persons, when the Karabakh Armenian forces occupied territories beyond the Nagorno Karabakh borders. The Karabakhi Armenians ultimately succeeded in removing Azerbaijanis from Nagorno Karabakh. After Nagorno-Karabakh War On January 16, 2003 Robert Kocharian said that Azerbaijanis and Armenians were «ethnically incompatible» and it was impossible for the Armenian population of Karabakh to live within an Azerbaijani state. Speaking on 30 January in Strasbourg, Council of Europe Secretary-General Walter Schwimmer said Kocharian's comment was tantamount to warmongering. Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe President Peter Schieter said he hopes Kocharian's remark was incorrectly translated, adding that, "...since its creation, the Council of Europe has never heard the phrase ethnic incompatibility." In 2010 an initiative to hold a festival of Azerbaijani films in Yerevan was blocked due to popular opposition. Similarly, in 2012 a festival of Azerbaijani short films, organized by the Armenia-based Caucasus Center for Peacemaking Initiatives and supported by the U.S. and British embassies, which was scheduled to open on April 12, was cancelled in Gumri after protesters blocked the festival venue. <laughs> Destruction of mosque in Armenia In 1990 a mosque in Yerevan was pulled down with a bulldozer. The Blue Mosque is the only one that remains in present-day Yerevan. In the opinion of Thomas de Waal, the destruction of a mosque in Armenia was facilitated by a linguistic sleight of hand, as the name Azeri or Azerbaijani was not in common usage before the 20th century, and these people were referred to as Tartars, Turks or simply Muslims. Azerbaijanis are being written out of the history of Armenia, and Armenians refer to Muslim monuments as Persian, even though the worshippers in a mosque built in 1760 would have been Turkic speaking Shiite subjects of Safavid dynasty, i.e., the ancestors of Azerbaijanis. See also List of anti Azerbaijani massacres Anti-Armenianism in Azerbaijan